County Public Library is providing help and resources for students following their return to school. Joining me more, joining me this morning with more details for our At the Library segment is Stephanie Smith. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you doing? Morning, I'm great, thank you. Apparently, I'm still struggling, so we're going to keep <laughs> this rolling. But first of all, um, what are some of the main resources the library can provide to students? You know, all of the students have their back to school list that they have, their supply list, pencils, notebooks, all that. We have our own. At the top of the list is a library card. That's your most important resource because it helps open the door to a lot of our other resources. And if you are a student age 17 and under and you had library fines on your card before June 6th, all those were wiped clean. So we really want as many kids as possible using their library card. And if you don't have one, come in and get one. And of course, that gives you access to books. But what else does it give you access to? So many great things. Uh, top thing is tutor.com. So if you are a student or a teacher or a caregiver um, and you just need extra help after hours after the classroom, seven days a week, noon to 10, you can access a free tutor. This is for our little kids with their basic math and literacy skills all the way up to AP calculus, um, SAT prep, everything in between free with your library card and also at the library physically there are people to help you know our staff is also an amazing resource it's not on our list on our website <laughs> but I don't want to neglect it because if you are looking for a particular book if you have an assignment due on a topic they can point you in the right direction get you the resources that you need and get you on your way and beyond helping you with resources is there any way to further your education at the library Oh, so many different ways. Um, you know, our Maker Lab is an amazing resource also. We have um, the entire suite of, of computer software that most people don't have access to. We have the 3D printers to do that extra little with your project. Um, it's really hands-on learning. Um, you know, also genealogy. Mm -hmm. If you're a history buff, history teacher, history student is another great resource because genealogy is really just personal histories. And a lot of people maybe think of the library as something for little kids or older adults to just go and hang out with. But what about those teenagers? What, what would draw them in, in your opinion? Uh, a lot of the same resources. Great staff to help them, um, comfortable places to hang out, and just people to answer their questions uh, to really get them pointed in the right direction. Not everything's on the internet. <laughs> um, we have a lot of really great things available through the internet, but sometimes you need something extra, and again, that's where the staff resources come in. Stephanie, thank you so much for stopping by today. These resources are free and available to all students with that library card. Make sure you see this interview again later today on Wayne.com, and we'll have a link to resources for the library as well.